a deal I came in here to do right quick and you have to do this one in store but first the first thing I see is the thing that I want is actually out of stock right here $279 for this Oral-B floss is out of stock so now I'm pivoting I'm coming up with something new um, right here I think this is the deal that I'm going to settle on but if we look at this tag right here you can see that this floss is this is the Oral-B satin floss yeah this one right here this satin floss is $3.99 that's the sale price and the tag says when you buy two you get five dollars so I'm putting together a deal I'm actually gonna get three and I'll tell you why I'm gonna get three of these I'm getting three of these at $3.99 each because we have a coupon for $6.50 off when you buy three so I want to save that $6.50 so I'm thinking I should go ahead and just get three of these so I'm gonna get three of these and the tag is letting me know that they're $3.99 each and that I'll get $5 back. So let's put a deal together. Let's do the math. So we're going to get three of these. That comes out to $11.97. Clip that coupon for $6.50 off. That will bring you down to pay $5.47 at the register. But the tag is letting us know that we'll get $5 back. Now the great part about this deal, let's go ahead and walk to the register. Now the great part about this deal is that most times when they have this deal, it combines with another deal for spend $10 and get a reward. So let's see if these deals are still combining. Let's go ahead and see if we actually get two register rewards back instead of one. If that happens, that would be great. But worst case scenario, we get five bucks back after we pay $5.47. That's still a good deal. But if we could get two rewards back, that would make it a money maker and that would be even better. So this deal was quick and easy and it worked out perfectly. Let's go ahead and look at my receipt. You can see that I got three of them. It came out to $11.97. So I got three of these for $11.97. It says that right on the receipt. Now I used that $6.50 off coupon and my total came out to $5.47. My total came out to $5.47 plus tax of course. I paid $5.47 out of my pocket and I got back $5.00 in a register reward this is like a five dollar bill at Walgreens I got back five dollars here and I got back four dollars guys I paid 547 out of my pocket but I got back a total of nine dollars that was a money maker now like I said before you can do it this way if your store only has these and this should work the exact same way for you you'll pay 547 out of pocket but you'll get back nine dollars but like I said before if your store has the others let me show you how that should look because it'll come out cheaper for you now you don't want to get three of these for $2.79 because that's not going to work. But what you could do is get two of these that I got and one of the floss packs for $2.79 if your store has it, mine doesn't. Your total will be a little cheaper than mine and you will still get back the same rewards that I got back. So make sure that if you do this deal and your store doesn't have three of these, you can always substitute one of them for this variety that's only $2.79. So since I have this $9, we just earned it, I think I know the perfect way to spend it really quickly on something that I would like that wouldn't take a lot of time. So right here we have Arm & Hammer. It's on sale this week, buy one, get two free. Not buy one, get one free, but buy one and get two for free. That seems like a really good deal. So I'll buy one at $7.49 and I'll get the other two for free. Now I won't have to pay that $7.49 out of my pocket. I'm gonna hand over this paper money that we actually just earned. That seems so simple, right? We just earned it, why not? You Use it so I'm going to grab three of these because they're buy one get two free $7.49 I'm going to pay with this now since this is nine dollars we have to spend the whole thing at Walgreens you can't just say hey here's this $7.49 is my total give me some change they're not going to do that you have to spend the whole thing so let's find a way to spend this entire nine dollars now I'm totally going to get this palm olive deal because you can see palm olive is on sale this week for $2.49 and we have a coupon for one dollar off y'all we have a coupon for a dollar off that would make it $1.49, guys. They're on sale for $2.49. The coupon would make it only $1.49. And that's almost exactly what we need to spend in order to use our $9 in rewards that we earned. Guys, with the $7.49 on the Arm & Hammer and the $1.49 we're going to spend on the Palm Olive, that puts us at $8.98. We've almost spent this $9. We're at $8.98. We need to spend about $0.02 cents more 
and then we can check out. But of course, we're not going to find anything here in Walgreens for two cents. So get anything, add anything to your transaction for any amount that you can, and then you're ready to check out. At my store, there's a ton of candy and mints and all of that kind of stuff on clearance. I think this might be what I add for my last item. I'm seeing these orange tags everywhere, and with some of the stuff, it looks like somebody actually beat me to it, but you can tell that the prices have been going down really low. So check your store for candy clearance, but this might be, this just might be what I add. You can see this whole pack of Trident was $3.89 and now it's only 99 cents. That seems like a pretty good deal. There's so many things that I could add for my last item and there looks like maybe there's some candy on clearance over here too. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, over here looks like some Kit Kats on clearance. What am I missing? Oh, Twix. 39 cents for Twix. Wow, y'all, check your store. M&M's only 39 cents. So yeah, there's a ton of clearance. You just have to check your store and look. Some things are lower than others, but I think I'm gonna add something like this for my last item. For this transaction, I have the palm olive. I have three of the Arm & Hammer. And guys, I have my eyes on this candy that I see over there that's 15 cents. That is the perfect item to add to this transaction to spend that last two cents that I need to spend. You can actually add whatever you want to add, but I'm trying to add the cheapest thing I can find. And I see some Hershey's candy way over there. Way over there. Can you see it? It's kind of far. I don't want to get all up on people. But way over there, there's some Hershey's candy for 15 cents, guys. And that's what I'm grabbing. Oh my gosh, look, right up here at the register. Do you guys see this? Does that say 20 cents? I think it does. Jalapeno beef sticks. And over here, I think this Glade says 13 cents. No way. The Glade is actually cheaper now than the Hershey's. Maybe I'll go with that. This is the Hershey's that I was telling you guys about for only 15 cents, but when I looked up here and I saw that Glade for 13 cents, I decided to go with that instead. Anyway, it's time to check out, so I have to put in my phone number and let's see how this goes. Okay, so this transaction went exactly like it was supposed to, guys. Everything came off like it was supposed to. Really, all I had was those two register rewards that we earned and a Palm Olive coupon and everything worked. So let me not get ahead of myself. Let me go ahead and show you the receipt. So, you know, we got three of the Arm & Hammer. They were buy one, get two for free, right? And then we got Palm Olive, $2.49 we clipped that one dollar off coupon let's look at the receipt the arm and hammer you can see right here was 749 and then two came off for free see zero zero and then i got palm olive it was 249 and i used a dollar off coupon the glade was my item you know we needed to spend like two cents more so i found something that was cheap 13 cents for the glade and all of those coupons that we used we used a four dollar register reward remember that paper money we used five dollars in paper money and we used a one dollar off palm olive coupon my total came out to 11 cents 11 cents for all it is so all I had to pay was 11 cents so my first transaction was 547 now this second transaction was 11 cents so now that I have everything up here let's really talk about what I spent for the entire day my first transaction was 547 right second transaction was 11 cents guys let's do the math that's five dollars and 58 cents for all of this so this is everything that I got one two three four five six seven eight items for five dollars and 58 cents I think that's a pretty good deal considering laundry detergent are you kidding me y'all laundry detergent dish soap I'm so in there with all of that make sure you tell me in the comments what deals you've been doing this week at Walgreens I like the new way we're doing Walgreens in store we're not gonna make it hectic we're gonna make it smooth we're gonna do it when we want to do it when we don't want to do it we're not gonna do it but we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna have a good time here at Walgreens all right that's gonna be it for this video OCC gang I'm out you're rocking with the OCC gang